always said in the back of my mind, well, you know, I can always adopt, Mm -hmm. you know, children who look like us, you know, don't get adopted uh, in quite the same way. Um, But then career just really took over. um, And you pour yourself into that and that becomes your baby. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, you don't have to worry about, I can't tell you how many positions I've left without another opportunity in the wings that I wouldn't have left if I had to worry about children. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's so, yeah, decision-making was impacted along the way um, by um, that decision. Yeah, I certainly that understand do. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, Mayor Cobble, you are a busy woman, an elected official, um, obviously a distinguished career, uh, and juggling motherhood. How many kids do you have? Just one. <laughs> Just one, so do you want more? No. No, so just one. Okay, what's the best thing about being a mom? Oh, man, Uh, my son um, has taught me uh, that love has no boundaries. You know, Mm. how it doesn't matter how mad they make you, you can't find the limit to how much you'll continue to give. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have no control over it. It just totally consumes you. How old is he? He just turned 13. Oh, a teenager. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. We're, we're knee deep in it, too. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I think it's a different dynamic, though, with teenage boys and moms, you know, because yeah. I think I know when I was a teenager, my mom and I were like, eh, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah, for yeah, sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit different than my mom and I when I was a teenager. Um, I thought it would be easier because he was a boy child Mm -hmm. but we are doing things that are certainly (laughs) 13 year old teenage type and it has been an experience so far it's only been about a month since he's been a teenager but (laughs) yeah it's it's an experience okay well you told us like some of the sweet cute lovely parts what's the most challenging part about being a mom oh man um probably trying to determine uh if you are teaching the lessons that you want them to have um, and giving them the space to show you if they've gotten it, comprehended it, or understand it, Mm -hmm. right? Even simple things. I'll I'll give you an example. Um, Maybe a year or two ago, uh, my husband and I were just kind of just talking about random things. And uh, I said, um, what if we're not teaching, Mason is his name, my son, what if we're not teaching him like the basics Like, does he know how to use the washing machine? You know? Yeah. Like, legit. Have we? You know what I mean? Because in the routine of everything, you're just like, go get your clothes, you Mm -hmm. throw them in. And I was like, but does he know the different cycles? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, does he know what, how do you, do you wash white clothes in in hot water or cold water? You know, like, because life just moves, right? I mean, he just knows the clothes are clean, but did we teach him? detergent and bleach yes, for white. Yes, you know I mean? yes. <laughs> like, so it's trying to like balance. Did we teach him that? And then give him the opportunity to show it. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I think that's been, that is really the most terrifying part for me mm-hmm. is have I taught him the basic lessons? You know, we're always trying to make sure he's going to be a good person in the world. You know, don't steal, don't rob, you know, don't curse. Um, and just, you know, the pressures of being a teenager, And so we're always constantly doing that. And of course, because I'm a civil servant, you know, Mm -hmm. it's kind of like, here's what you can't do, right? You're not allowed to cut up, you know, you've got to turn the other way. But have we taught them just basic things? Yeah. Running the dishwasher, you know, having to rinse the dishes really good before you put them in the dishwasher, you know, just so that those have been the things that are a little bit terrifying to me. Like once he gets out in the world, will he know the basics? Because we spend so much time focusing on just being a good civilian yeah but what about the small things you know listening to you talk i have to say this is the difference between millennial moms right and how i grew <laughs> up because at 13 i damn well better had no right. how to wash clothes because who else was washing them oh, you them? Oh, doing the dishes clothes. right who <laughs> else doing these dishes right. like yeah you yeah. better know how to bust wait a minute us. you are the dishwasher right there was no dishwasher <laughs> like you, that, you had to bust the suds and i mean i did too mm-hmm. i remember and we were having this conversation. It's like, does he know how to iron? Mm. And I yeah. was like, has he ironed? You know, yeah. I mean, we're just thinking like. But there's something what? about that. I think like moms now, like it is this over, you know, they say it's like helicopter parenting. Mm. 
Um, and for somebody who ain't got no kids, I'm about to have all the opinions about how moms raising their kids. But like, I hire these people, you yeah. know, and it's like, oh, like you were raised different because yeah. it, it is a different, um, it, it's, it's a different reality yeah. for these young kids. And mm-hmm. I, I mean, I was cooking on a hot stove, could barely see over it, had a little spatula like mm-hmm. this, yep. making fried bologna sandwiches. And remember, it used to bubble up yep. and like grilled cheese. Yeah. That was just a part of life. And so, at 13, it is kind of baffling to say, oh, wow, like, he don't, he don't wash his own clothes, he don't mm-hmm. iron his own clothes, he don't... Right. and I don't know if that was better for us as Gen X kids, well, you know? Well, but, you know, I, I think about my childhood in that respect. I didn't wash clothes. Mm-hmm. I didn't cook. My grandmother was there. Mm. I mean, our clothes were clean, folded, and in the drawer, or hanging up, you know. She must have gotten up at, before daybreak yeah you know because i never actually saw her doing laundry